Hello, welcome back to the channel. The following story that I'm about to read was written by one of my subscribers, Wolfpack. Thank you, Wolfpack, for allowing me to read your story. I appreciate it greatly. If you would like to read Wolfpack's story for yourself, you can find it in the channel's Discord. You can find a link to the channel's Discord in the description of the video. So again, thank you, Wolfpack, for allowing me to read your story. I appreciate it greatly. And if anybody else has any story suggestions they would like me to read, any creepy posters, or even stories that you've written, please let me know down in the comments or in the channel's Discord. I'm a student at a community college. It's a fairly good place to go to, with there being several classes to take, like most. I was more into art, so I decided to take an art course, which, for the first year, was pretty easy. The second year, however, is when I met Norman. Norman was a quiet kid, usually keeping to himself. He was usually seen on his phone, and I never really interacted with him until the teacher gave us an assignment where we had to work in pairs. The assignment was to make a fan-made episode of any show we wanted. Me and Norman chose The Simpsons, as both of us liked the show. When it was time for us to think of what the episode should be about, Norman said, I wanted to have Graggle. That alright? In case you don't know, Graggle is a character that people claim to see in Simpsons cartoons, with people even posting videos online claiming to find him. He's basically the Simpsons equivalent of Morbius, saying, It's Morbine time. If that makes things easier to get. Anyway, when I asked why, Norman said, that he just really liked the internet trying to make Graggle a real character and that he wanted to make there be a fan-made episode about him. I told him I'd help write it and he'd get to draw it. He said that'd be alright and that if I emailed him the script, he'd have it done by the end of the week. I figured that could work and when I got in my dorm, I got to work. I wrote the episode like how I thought the Simpsons writers would when introducing Graggle. My script went down like this. Bart tells his sister Lisa that he found something that she needs to see. She agrees and finds out that Bart was hiding a runaway kid, the kid being Graggle, in his treehouse. When Lisa asked him why, Bart said he wouldn't leave the treehouse. Lisa agreed to keep it a secret at first, but she eventually told her parents, Homer and Marge. When they first saw Graggle, Homer thought about finding where he came from, but when Graggle said that he was an orphan, Marge decided to try to convince Homer to let him stay. Homer agreed and let him stay, but on the condition that Graggle doesn't sleep on the couch. Eventually someone from the orphanage that Graggle ran away from would come looking for him and would almost succeed in getting him back but would ultimately fail when Marge got adoption papers for Graggle. The episode would end with Graggle trying to find a place to sit in a usual couch gag. Graggle would wear clothes, something I thought was necessary. Anyway, I emailed the script to Norman when I finished it. The next few days were normal, but then Norman emailed me saying that he finished it. When I asked to see what he made, he refused, saying that it's a surprise. I kept asking, and he kept refusing. I came up with a plan to see it myself. I saw Norman leaving his class and I told him that I wanted to see what he made. He finally agreed, opening his laptop, putting in the password and gave it to me, saying that he'd be the one to submit it 
to the teacher. I went to my dorm, not letting the laptop close, and I watched the episode, but I realized he had fully changed my entire script. The title, for instance, which I named, What's Graggling, was changed to Graggle's Revenge. The episode started in the Springfield border, with a silhouette of something scampering into the town. The episode went like a treehouse of horror episode. Homer and his family were nervous as there was a lot of people disappearing. According to Homer, when reading a paper, there's always signs of some sort of animal being present. The family stayed there until Homer told his family that he was going to get a beer at Moe's. When he left, a silhouette of the same thing there was at the beginning was hiding in the bushes, watching the Simpsons family. It then cut to Homer walking to Moe's. The sky was smoky gray and the town was just empty. There were no people. There weren't any sounds either. It was just Homer walking. Homer made it to Moe's, but Moe was gone too. Thinking he was in the back, he went to see if he was there. What he saw was terrifying. Mo was lying on the ground, dead. His body was mutilated, with blood everywhere. His right hand and parts of his face were missing. It looked like something bit them off. Horrified, Homer ran outside. He dialed 911, but he got nothing. No response. He yelled for someone to help, but nobody was there. Just silence and emptiness. He ran back to his house, but then he noticed that the window was broken. He opened the door quickly and saw Graggle sitting on a couch, chewing on Marge's leg. Bart was cut in half with part of a ceiling fan, and Lisa was impaled on a spike made out of a rail. I don't even want to think about what this thing did to Maggie. Before Homer could react, Graggle jumped on him, Homer screaming as Graggle bit into his face. When it was over, Graggle stood up and looked at the camera, speaking in a deep voice. He said this, You abandoned me. You forgot me. I was there the entire time and you left me to rot. Now it's your turn to rot. Then the episode ended. I was mortified at what I just saw. Norman didn't even need me. He clearly already had his own script. I ran to the teacher and showed him. I unfortunately had to watch the episode a second time. He thought I made this with Norman and that I was kicked out, but I showed him my script. Upon reading it, he decided to let me stay, on the condition that I erased the episode Norman made. When I did, Norman was kicked out of the class and life went on normally. But then I realized something about the episode. Even though I didn't record any audio, the thing that was graggled, it had my voice.